Can't remember your credentials to your Google business profile? Let's face it, you or a marketing company may have forgotten the email that was used to verify your Google business profile. If you're not, you can still claim the listing. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through a step-by-step -step process on how to regain access to your Google business profile. Before we go any further, make sure you subscribe to our channel, like this video so that you can get access to future tips just like this one. Okay, first, you need to go to business.google.com. Once there, you will see a screen that looks like this, or this, where you click to add a location. So here, you will need to search for your business. Once you find it, you might get a message that says your listing has been claimed by someone else. If you recognize the email address hint, simply log into that email and your problem might be solved. But if you don't recognize that email, you're gonna have to go ahead and request access to the listing. When you do this, the current owner of the listing is gonna receive a email from Google that looks a little something like this. They will be notified that someone is trying to request access to the listing and they will have the option to either grant access or deny access. The current owner has seven days to respond to the request. If they don't respond within seven days, you can go back into the dashboard and request verification of the listing. Do you remember when you press that blue request access button? When you submit that request, you should have received an email with a link to verify your listing if that seven day period passes without the existing owner granting access or denying. It's really important not to lose that email as you will need that link. So what if the current owner denies your request? Don't fret, your listing will not remain hostage. You can still appeal the denied request and verify to prove that you are the person who has the authority to represent and own and manage the listing. Okay folks, here's a bonus tip related to service area businesses. Now what if you're a business that does not operate a storefront? If you are a business that does not have a storefront, what we refer to as a service area business, such as a plumber or an electrician, there is a slightly different process that you will need to follow to get access to the listing. When you search for the listing, you will get prompted to do the same steps as if you were recreating the listing. It seems odd, right? It's not. That is the right process. As soon as you try to create that listing and verify it, the listing will instantly be flagged as a duplicate inside your dashboard. When that happens, you will see the button that's called request access inside your dashboard. Once you click on that, it will prompt you to do the same steps that we just covered earlier for a physical location business with a storefront. In both cases, you will emerge victorious in the claiming of your listing. No one can hold it hostage if you follow these steps. Have questions for us? Leave them in the comments below and we'll see you next time.